Ready? Words is scale. Hey guys and welcome. So today I wanted to talk about、uh, keyword research and ChatGPT, and doesn't matter what you use, which LLM I mean, Perplexity, Claude, Gemini. You should not be conducting your regular quote unquote keyword research with ChatGPT for many reasons. Well, for one, all the LLMs are using outdated data sets. That are not factual, or not as factual, at least. And secondly, which is even more important, they provide or they make up data, which is bogus. So if you were to ask ChatGPT or Gemini for volume CPC in difficulty, and then compare it with SEMrush or Ahrefs, you will see huge discrepancies, making those tools unreliable for keyword research. And by those tools, I mean ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini. There are, however, three ways of using ChatGPT for keyword research,、uh, which is beneficial. So the first one is、um, using ChatGPT for programmatic SEO. So if you have your seed keyword and a modifier, my favorite example is "can dogs eat," which is your seed keyword, and that the modifier would be bananas, pizzas, apples, and whatnot. You can do that with ChatGPT. Basically, you are using ChatGPT to brainstorm other variations. So it has very little to do with keyword research and accuracy. It just has to do with、uh, coming up with、uh, different variations that you yourself might not have thought of. Secondly, ChatGPT can be used with foreign languages. So if you have a good understanding of your market in English language, you can just ask ChatGPT to translate the keywords in different languages with some degree of success. And foreign SEO is generally easier than English SEO, so to speak. So it might be beneficial as well. And the third use case, which I think is the best one, is when you have underserved or even better emerging niche or niches, and you have no idea which、uh, keywords are are going to be searched for, and none of the popular keyword research tools are going to have that information. And you can ask ChatGPT to come up with different variations. Again, use ChatGPT as your brainstorming partner.、And、right now, I'm going to show you a 100% free way of doing a keyword research. This is going to come in handy if you have zero bucks. You're just starting out, and you need to pump out your first hundred articles with a good degree of certainty and success. And this is going to be a four-step process, and we are going to be using free websites slash tools. So the first step is to find a donor site. Let's head back to the Hoth tool, and you need to, the one called Search Competition. I'm going to be using my old example, which is a dog,、uh, which is a site in a dog's niche, which I used to own a few years ago. It's called SaferDog.com, and、uh, now you're getting a、uh, list of related domains、uh, filtered by relevance. And of course, if you are just starting out. You want those domains with low domain authority, so the Hoth is going to help you with that as well. The tool is called Domain Authority Checker. Unfortunately, it only allows for three entries per search, so we're going to just grab、uh, top three domains based on relevancy, view most metrics, and as you can see, the top top care domain has a domain authority of three. Which is three out of a hundred, perfect candidate for us. And now we are ready for step two, which is keyword extraction. And we are still going to be using the Hoth. You need to go to Rankings Checker. We'll insert the domain like so, and this way you're going to get a lot of keywords. So if you click on View More Results, you're going to get exactly a hundred keywords. And already you have a lot of information like rankings, volume, and traffic. Unfortunately, this is powered by Google. And Google is not the best at assessing competition, so whenever it shows you competition, it's basically paid search competition, not organic competition. So what you need to do is export this as a CSV, and these are our keywords. And then you need to head over to another tool, which is called Keyword Volume Checker. Thankfully, it's all under the same roof, and you would need to do four searches. To complete all of the hundred keywords, but the beauty of this tool is that it is powered by SEMrush, and admittedly, SEMrush、uh, is the second best thing to Ahrefs. So these are the two giants, Ahrefs and SEMrush. And as you can see, you're getting a competition score which is very accurate, and、uh, you have a lot of zero competition keywords, which is great. Now the next two steps you can do in any order. I'll go step three, which is create a topical map. For this, I will once again grab my hundred keywords, and you can do two hundred or three hundred if you do this in iterations. 
And I'll be using another tool, which is called Ask Optimal. And the tool is called Keyword Cluster. So I'll just insert the keywords, click Generate. And you can do exactly 100 keywords at a time. And this is 100% free. Okay, this is in Markdown. So let's head over to Markdown to HTML. And this is our clusters. So we have uh, fruits for dogs, dogs grooming, dogs health, dogs shampoos and soaps and stuff like that. So these are our categories slash silos we need for our new website. But of course, uh, we need to know which uh, articles to publish first. And I would always advise to go for the lowest hanging fruit. So we need to find uh, the best keywords out of those 100. For this, you can go back to our volume checker report and grab all the ones with zero competition. So now you have effectively done the following. You found a few sites for parasitic SEO. You were then able to determine which ones are the lowest domain authority. We picked one website with a main authority of three. Then we extracted 100 keywords. We were able to create a topical map with those 100 keywords. And then we were able to check those 100 keywords with SEMrush for free to find zero competition keywords. And uh, this will only take you maybe 5 to 10 minutes. And by the end of this uh, easy procedure, you will have an actionable step. You will have 100 keywords along with the silos and categories to start your own website. If you want to help starting your own website, you can head over to Vast Universe or a one-on-one -on -one call with me. But uh, remember that finding a niche is the first but most important step. And I'm uh, happy to announce that the Niche Hunter course is finally ready. And we have currently not 11 but 13 different techniques for finding profitable niches. And I decided to keep the early adopters price. So it's only 97 bucks. And this is a unique course. Uh, I haven't seen this anywhere. So this is the industry first course dedicated to finding profitable niches. Hope this was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.